In one of the communities devoted to sea dogs, on January 3rd, there was an announcement of the GTA San Andreas mod with the textures of sea dogs, Caribbean tales called GTA Scarlet Sails. The developer announces 25 quests with full voice acting taking place on five islands and a secret mission where the player will have to play as a wild animal. Having downloaded a 2 gigabyte file and simply unpacked it with an archiver, I faced a problem of choosing a screen resolution. Resolution. The game does not support a 1920 by 1080 resolution, so I manipulated with the permissible resolution options, and it took me five attempts to find a suitable option where the distortion of the interface was minimal. I hit a snag while minimizing and expanding the game. Every second time the game stopped responding to mouse clicks, and I needed to minimize and expand it again to be able to interact with the interface. Having settled this bug, I started playing. From the very beginning, it becomes clear that all 32 and announced voice actors, or amateurs, as well as the scriptwriter. That said, the gameplay itself leaves a pleasant impression. An interesting feeling arises from the control of a ship with the physics of a motorboat from GTA. The game is not designed for deviations from the storyline, so when I had left the ship near the pier, I could not get back on it, nor go ashore. The character just started to swim under the textures of the city. Having spent 10 minutes trying to get out of the situation, I restarted the game and this time, I made it exactly to the point marked on the map. When I got to the appropriate place, I saw the next cutscene, and after it ended, the main character found himself on land, and I did not have to try to leave the ship myself again. Passing through the city, I came across a Spanish soldier who looked inappropriate in the frame, and the location itself barely resembled a Spanish settlement. A distinguishing feature of the game is the ability to play for different characters. Rewinding the tape, the more I played, the more I realized that the game was made with the textures of sea dogs, but without understanding the mechanics and logic of the pirate game. You see the same characters, the same houses, but you realize that this is not sea dogs, and the immersion level is close to zero due to the lack of adaption of everything around the place and time of events. Passing the level, which is a flashback of the last day of the life of the main character's wife, who died a few days ago, I collected buckets and mobs flying in the air, and when I tried to walk up to a cow on the water of the flowers task, the game simply crashed. There are no auto saves in the game, and I did not make any saves either. I was not ready to start the game for the third time, so I just started to bring it to a close and deleted the game. I assume that the developers will fix all fatal bugs and the game will be more stable in the coming months, but if you are a true lover of pirate games, I don't recommend you playing it. As a fan of Sea Dogs, I felt emptiness and frustration while closing the Scarlet Sails game. The eyes see familiar textures, but the carelessness with which they are misused leaves a bad aftertaste. I'm not a fan of the Grand Theft Auto series of games, so I only rate it as a pirate game lover. If you still tried playing the game, please describe your impressions in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon so not to miss a unique interview with Alexis B, the founder of the SeaWorld community and developer of Sea Dogs Return of the Legend. The first part of the interview will be available very soon.